How's it going everybody? Well, as you can see, I'm letting the fire burn out. In today's video, chimney sweeping. I'm going to show you the tools you're going to need, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. Okay, well, it's cooled down enough, so let's talk about the tools before I get started in showing you what you actually have to do. One of the first things you're going to need is a tin scoop. Obviously, this is one of the ones that I picked up at Murdoch's, which is one of our local ranch supply houses. And I got the tin bucket with the lid. That's important. This is a six gallon. This is for removing coals and everything else. That's what I had to do this morning once it was cool enough. The other thing you're going to need for this particular job, if you can't use that bucket by not being able to pull your chimney up high enough like me, you're going to need a grocery bag, just your standard plastic grocery bag, and you need to line the largest as far as widest pot you have, depending on how high your chimney can raise on the inside, so that you can put this underneath it so when you put your brush down you don't do any damage, okay? This one's not very tall, so I'm going to show you how to lift this. You don't put screws in these. There's holes right here along the joint seam where you can put screws in them. Don't do that because you won't be able to do what I'm about to do. So you come up and just basically grab it. And you slide it up into the tube. You take your pot with your bag lined and slide it right underneath it just like that so that when you push your brush down your chimney, it doesn't hit on the inside of your stove. The other tool you're going to need for this particular job happens to be the 11-in-1 screwdriver. If you don't have one of these flip-flop multi-drivers that's either the Klein 10-in-1 or the 11-in-1, I highly recommend you get one, all right? So let's go jump on the roof and I'll show you the rest of the stuff. Okay, well, it's windy up here on the roof, so I hear. I hope you can hear me without any crazy echoes or anything like that or any crazy wind turbulence. But the other main tool you need is your brush. This one's about 40 bucks. You get these at your normal stove, wood stove supply stores, and then you need to get the rod too, depending on what your length is. Will depend on how many rods you're going to need to get and all they do is just thread together for the sake of video time and hassle i already threaded this one as you can see my chimney's in the background so now that you've seen the tools i'm going to show you how this is done so normally you'll have your 10 in 1 screwdriver and you're going to have screws around here you're going to want to remove those don't lose them but you're going to need to pull the cap off. Once you remove the screws off of these, the caps pretty much just twist. They're supposed to anyway, without the rest of the chimney twisting. There we go. Okay. So you twist that piece off and you just set it down to the side. Make sure that it does not fall off your roof. Okay. They're not cheap components for wood stoves. You're also going to want a flashlight, which I honestly forgot to bring, so we'll see what happens. But you're going to take your brush and you're going to go straight down, just like that, and you're going to push. Push down as straight as you possibly can without any sudden jerking motions from side to side. Just always take it nice and slow. And it will get stiff. Now when it starts getting really stiff, pull it back up. Oh. If you can. If not, just go all the way down. And then if you have to, run inside and look up with a light and see where you're at. Just gonna keep going down. There we go. Oh, there, it went all the way through. Cool. There it is, right there. 
Now you can go inside and you can check it out with a flashlight and you can even take it apart down there if you have to, okay? So I'll be right back. I'm actually gonna go grab my light so that I can make sure that this isn't all nasty so that I don't have to do it more than once. All right, well, I went and grabbed my flashlight, so I'm gonna take a look at this real quick before I pull the brush back up. It looks nice and clean to me, so the next thing you gotta do once you get it all the way down and you get it really clean, is you gotta pull it all back up. Watch your head when it comes out. Whew. Okay. Welp. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and take your top. You can clean it out with a brush too. Just stick it in there and kind of give it a little shake. You can actually pick these up and just kind of a little bit like that. I like to set it on the roof, pinch it with my feet, give it a good brush in and then pull it back out, just like that. And then give it a shake and you're good to go. So, now, let's go see what it looks like on the inside, shall we? Okay, well I got everything closed up off the roof, so let's take a look inside the chimney before I show you what actually came out of the bucket, okay? Looks pretty clean to me, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let's check out what's in the bucket. Because this is all the creosote buildup that comes out of it when you brush. This is really bad. I hear it can burn at like 2,000 degrees. This is really nasty. You don't want this type of buildup inside your chimney. Now, I'm gonna give you a comparison against the size of my hand just so you guys aren't like, oh, well, that's not that much, okay? Here's the bag, there's my hand. And there's my face, okay? That's how much of this stuff was built up in my chimney. So it's really important to sweep them. Once you're done doing all this, you just basically grab your collar like you did the first time, you pull it back down, you set it in place, and you're done. So if you have any questions, do me a favor, drop them in the comments below. If there was anything you liked about this video, leave a like on it if you would. I'd really appreciate it, that would be cool. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed already, I would consider it. I got a lot of good knowledge and I cover a lot of topics, so you never know. It might be something you're interested in. Other than that, share it with a friend, okay? And I'll see you next time. I gotta get on to the next project.